Yeah, I just got down watching uh, Mill City Boxing with uh, Zab Judah and uh, Brian Norman Sr. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> shouts out to Mill City. Uh, I'm going to go leave uh, the video in the uh, link below. You know what I'm saying? In the description box. Y'all can go ahead and check it out. You know what I'm saying? Because Mill City, he definitely don't get enough credit because he gives some of the best interviews, I swear. You know, um, and I don't think he's getting enough hits and views, honestly. But anyways, that's on the side note. But anyways, um, if you go and watch the video, you're going to see everything that they're talking about. And uh, <laughs> my thing is that I want to add to all the stuff that they was talking about is I understand what's going on with Eddie. I, I really do. I understand what's going on with Eddie. Eddie don't want to give up no more money, man. <laughs> you know, Eddie don't want to give up no more money. You got to look at it like this. They paid Boots almost four and a half million. Uh, 3.315 million. Okay? Then, they're going to have to at least pay two million for uh, Brian Norman Jr. You know what I'm saying? For him go ahead, collect that belt, become undisputed and stuff like that. Now, Let's face it, in the Avenesia fight, they ain't make no money off that. You know what I'm saying? They just pay booths. You know what I'm saying? For the most part. And for the same thing with this fight, they ain't gonna make no money off this. You know what I'm saying? They're just gonna be paying booths for the most part. So, how he looking at it is, I almost paid this kid four million, and I gotta go in my pocket again and pay another two million after I done already put on an event that we ain't recoup nothing or see no residuals from it and I gotta put on another one for this hell no let this shit go to purse bid <laughs> tell me that ain't it <laughs> tell me that ain't it <laughs> he said hey hey man I ain't gonna keep forking up all this cash man you know what I'm saying I ain't, I ain't gonna keep forking because and this is the biggest reason why listen 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 because boots has a phantom fan base the hate for Crawford is so strong that the support for Boots was through the roof I'm not lying to you you know I'm telling you the gospel you know that's the truth the hate for Terrence Crawford was so strong it put Boots support through the roof there is no demographic in which you can sell him behind Okay, it's the same thing that Al Heyman ran into with trying to pitch the Charlos. Okay, they don't have a fan base behind them. They don't really fit in anywhere. They don't really fit behind the Aero Spence fan base. They don't fit behind no no other fan base. You know what I'm saying? Deontay Wilder has this. You know, everybody has theirs for the most part. But you need a fan base behind you. He doesn't have one. It's Phantom. That's why when he fought old boy, he told you only six people sold up to the to the press conference and he's smack dab in the middle of Philly you know what I'm saying a Philly fighter so you know what I'm saying Eddie has already forked out more than enough money than what he's already worth and he ain't even proven to be nothing you know and Eddie know what he looking at so for the most part when it comes to that cause can't nobody figure it out how do you lose the purse bid nobody can figure it out Everybody thinks something's funny in the water. Like, it's something going on. Something ain't right. And y'all right. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. And the main thing is, the money that he's been coming out of thus far, as soon as he didn't pick up boots. Because he, has, he hasn't picked up nothing but fictitious tales. It's not proven. It's not on paper. It's not in his resume. It's not nothing. It's just, you know... You know, whispers in the back, you know what I'm saying, in the back rooms. That's what he bought. Now, yes, boots can be flashing and entertaining, but the man got gaps. It's only so far he can go, he gonna go with that. Somebody gonna capitalize off that and knock boots straight the fuck out. Clean. And they know it. And let's say, you know, care about closing them gaps, which I don't see how that's going on. 30 some fights in, no name. Now the pressure is on. The pressure is on to get Boots a name. 
Look how deep he is in boxing. 30 some fights, no name. The pressure's on for him to get a name and he's gonna need to fight a real name, which is something obviously they have feared thus far because they ain't got it for him yet. Come on now. Boots can't be the anomaly in boxing. 30 something fights and ain't got nobody notable yet? That's strange. That's odd, but I always said it's odd. I always always say look at the patterns. It's a reason for it. But the next move that they're gonna make with Boots, right after this, you know what I'm saying? This fight, we're gonna see if he's gonna go to Germany. And it, and if he do, man. Oh man. Yeah, that's another video itself. Like, comment, subscribe. Roots Van, I'm out.